example, you are given a matrix B and you are asked to find the row space using the reduced row echelon form. This reduced row echelon form is nothing but a simplified form of the row echelon form with one in the pivot elements of the columns and the other elements in the pivot columns are equal to zero. To obtain the reduced row echelon form of B, first let us reduce this B to its row echelon form. So if you look at the first row and first column, this is our first pivot here. So we are going to make the bottom elements of this pivot to be equal to zero. Let us apply some row reduction process. R2 minus 2R1, R3 plus 2R2. So now we have obtained our second pivot element, 1. So now we can go and reduce the row 3. So R3 minus 3R2 which gives. So this is our row echelon form. So which contains two pivots, 1 and 1. So in order to reduce further to its reduced row echelon form, we have to make sure that only the pivot elements are 1 and the other elements are 0. So therefore, we have to change the R1 as R1 minus R2. So which will lead us to... So once we have obtained this reduced row echelon form, the non-zero rows of this reduced row echelon form corresponds to the row space of the matrix B. Therefore, row space of B is... span of uh, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 2. In this example, we are given a system of equations. We have to find on what conditions on B1, B2, B3 is this system solvable. We know that system of linear equations with Ax equal to B is soluble when B belongs to the column space of A. So from the given system, we get the coefficient matrix X vector and B vector as follows. So first condition we are going to arrive is by solving the system of equation AX equal to B. In order to do so, we have to augment the B vector with the A matrix and bring it to its reduced form, which is the row echelon form. So this is the augmented matrix. So let us reduce this matrix to its row echelon form. So for doing so, the leading entry is here. So we are going to make the elements below this uh, pivot to be equal to 0. So after applying these row reduction steps, we get. So now we have obtained the pivot element in the second row. So we can go and reduce the third row. So by applying the row reduction for the row 3, we get. So now we have obtained the row echelon form of the matrix A. In order to obtain the all zero row, the condition is B3 minus B2 minus 2B1 must also be equal to 0. So if it is equal to 0, then it implies B is in the column space of A. So we have obtained the condition for Ax equal to B to be soluble. So now we are given values for B1, B2 and B3. Let us check whether we satisfy the condition or not. So substituting these values in this condition, we get 5 minus of minus 1 minus 2 into 3. So this is equal to 6 minus 6 that is equal to 0. So thus the condition is satisfied.